I don't, I don't know if that's the last thing you want to happen. That's true. The last thing you want to happen is your kids calling you over here to help you dig a ditch. <laughs> <laughs> Guilty as charged. Welcome back to the future home of Cottage Farmstead. I'm Rebecca, here with my husband Nathan, and my dad. And Daisy. And, and Daisy. Daisy. Daisy's miserably cold. It was very cool this morning, and she still hasn't warmed up, I don't think. We're over here as we are working on getting the water line put in today. We're doing a temporary water line that's attached to the municipal water so that we can have water while the concrete crews are here so they can clean their tools while we're working on it. Um, we had our neighbor across the street, which is my sister-in-law's parents, so in-laws, in-laws. And he came over yesterday with his tractor and a ripper and ripped a trench for us, which got us started. And then we finished it by hand. <laughs> to already having red clay soil, which is tricky enough to dig on its own, we also had a section that had sandstone in it. It was really hard to dig up, so we used the, the bucket part of my father's tractor and loosened it up as best we could and then went back in with the mattock and the shovel to keep digging the hole deep enough. <laughs> discovered we were missing uh, one of the parts we needed for the PEX. So Nathan went off to Ace Hardware and they didn't have the parts so he went to Lowe's and while he was gone my dad and I worked on figuring out how the PEX tool worked. We got it connected to the meter and then when Nathan got back we finished connecting it to the phosphory hydrant. <laughs> Mail to mail. So after we got it connected, we started dumping dirt back in, packing it down around the post and the hydrant, and then using the tractor to backfill the hole and pack it down. We'll also be using the, uh oh, forgot to silence your cell phone. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> we'll keep you updated on the progress over here at our house build. In the next few videos, we hope to be getting the foundation poured, the walls poured for the basement, and maybe, maybe, just maybe by the end of the year, we'll have the frame of the house up as well. Catch you next time. We came to do one last check of the hydrant and we noticed that we could hear the water line and the meter was still running, so which means there's probably a leak. Even though we tested it earlier and there are no leaks. So we're digging down again just to make extra sure. So it turns out 
It was not our plumbing job, but the hydrant is leaking out of its drain hole. <laughs> day.